Okay, so today's Tanya is a very special Tanya. Tanya teaches us that we yesterday, so let's make a quick recap. So Tanya begins with the idea that we all have two souls, right? What are the two souls? The godly soul and the animal soul, right? So what does the godly soul want, remember? Right, wants the spiritual stuff, wants God. And what does the animal soul want? Physical stuff, right? Existence, its own existence, etc. So there's a war between these two souls, right? Then we said that every soul has ten parts, mainly two parts, which is intellect and emotions, right? You have intelligence, your mind, your heart, your emotion. And we said that the godly soul's emotions a love of God and awe of God, thinking about the greatness of God makes you, that's the whole idea of davening every day to like think about the greatness of Hashem. Then we got into chapter 4, something new, which is the idea that Torah emits us the, the, the expression in this world. So how do you get close to Hashem? It's through Torah emits us. Like when you think the words of Hashem, the Torah, when you say them, when you do them, these are all things that actually bring us connected to Hashem. Now, the Altreva says that we know that the Torah and Hashem are actually one. It's a very hard thing to understand why, because in our world, things are not one. Like, you are not the table, and the table is not you. But you might say your wisdom is you, because your wisdom is very much connected to you. So in a similar sense, Hashem's wisdom is Him. Now, if you teach someone some wisdom... <laughs> wow. So if you teach somebody wisdom and the wisdom goes to them, it's still your wisdom. Now, the thing is with Hashem, it's not like they're two separate locations. So if Hashem's wisdom comes into you, it's literally Hashem Himself is in you. So when you study the Torah, it's literally like, I don't know, if you eat cereal and the cereal comes into you, so now the cereal is you. So because Hashem is one with the Torah, the Torah comes into you. And the same thing is with the mitzvahs. Hashem is in the mitzvah. The same thing is the words of the davening. In those letters, words, or Rebbe Hashab says that words are like a pipe. So let's say you say hello. So hello is just H-E-L-L-O, but inside the hello there's a, an emotion, there's a meaning to it. So you're transferring, just like a pipe transfers water from one place to another place, you're transferring that emotion to the other person. That's why how you say hello matters. Hello, hello, you know. So, so when you say the words of davening, you're bringing Hashem, Hashem is in the Hebrew letters, you're bringing Hashem into your soul. And so that's why the connection, these Torah myths, what we call the Levushim, the expression of Hashem, Hashem of Jehovah is even higher than the soul. When we do this, we actually bring Hashem into us. Got it?